this time we're gonna wait just for just gonna thank everyone for the opportunity to be in this place those ones that are in Ghana I send greetings those ones that's in the UK those ones in the United States Uganda Rwanda and Sudan amen and South Africa and all those other countries oh God that God has blessed me to preach in Lord today I've come to preach the Word of God and for those ones who don't know I'm Bishop Michael Maddox amen from the Living Waters Apostolic Church amen of the Lord Jesus Christ worldwide UK amen I do want to thank God for moving amen the people today to what to do to hear the word of the Lord and for those ones who don't know I was back I was on air a couple of years ago and I'm back I'm back in Ghana and I'm gonna be direct amen you're gonna get praise the name of the Lord a, a, a ream of word from God, a fresh word from the Lord every week amen when the time permits but anyway we're gonna go straight into the book of Isaiah Isaiah 40 amen we're gonna go into the book I just want you to get your Bibles out amen I don't want you to listen get your Bible out so we can go through the Bible together amen and you can listen for the 30 minutes that we're here amen so Isaiah chapter 40 and, and verse 31 the Bible says but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint amen the word today waiting for the moving of the water you know people waiting amen it means to stop amen people go in a queue amen sometimes why while they're waiting amen praise the name of the Lord but sometimes when you're waiting it's for you to take a check of what's actually happening amen praise the name of the Lord it means that you have to stop what you're doing amen and wait the scripture said, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. You get stronger when you have to wait for something significant in your life. Don't rush. People want to rush and do all kinds of things, praise the name of the Lord, and get it wrong. He said, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. What's going to happen? You're going to be stronger. Amen. People waiting for success, amen, are not getting it. Amen. And some people give up. But I want to say to you, if you're one of those ones that give up, praise the name of the Lord, you weren't supposed to get it in the first place. Amen. If it's yours, you will get your weight. But some people go halfway, part way. I'm talking about waiting for the moving of the water. The Bible says in, in Psalms 27, verse 13 to 14, it says, I had fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. It goes on to say, he said, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. There's too many people not waiting. God said he's going to bless you, but what happened? You don't get it after a year. You don't get it after two years, and some people are going, amen, to the juju man. What for? For the blessing. There's no blessing in that. You're supposed to wait on the Lord. When the Lord comes and the Lord bless you, you know not only you are blessed, but your family is blessed. But when you go to the juju man, to the obia man, or to the magician, or to the fortune teller, you're going to have problem not only with them, you're going to have problem with God. It's best, praise the name of the Lord, that you wait on the Lord. And let the Lord bless you. Praise the name of Don't rush God. There's an appointed time when God's going to bless you. You don't tell God when to bless. The scripture in Psalm 62 and verse 5 says, He said, My soul, wait thou only upon God. For my expectation is from Him. Everything I want or need comes from the Lord. I don't want anybody else. You shouldn't want anybody else amen to for you to receive what's yours you may be sick you may be going through something you may be just somebody that's been applying for jobs job after job and you don't get it you got to wait go so wait amen sometimes you may have a crop that you're that you're uh, waiting to grow the food 
don't come this year, that year. And you give up. Don't give up. Amen. Because our God don't give up on you. Amen. I'm going to go to the book of, of John, chapter 5. And we're going to look at somebody that was waiting. Amen. Someone that was waiting and see what God did. Because some of you, amen, you don't want to wait on God. You want to do your own thing. It's not going to be any good. But if you wait for God, amen, you'll see a mighty change. I'm going to begin from John chapter 5, begin at verse 1. It said, after this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem, by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. I just want to make you understand what's really happening. There's a pool of water there. And every year, an angel come. And what happens, the angel goes into the water or into the pool. And who's waiting? You have someone that's impotent. People can't move or have a condition. Some of them have sexual problems. Amen. Some of them have spiritual and natural problems. Amen. You have people that are blind. They can't see nobody. Praise the name of the Lord. You have someone halt or limping. Praise the name of the Lord. And you've got people with withered hands and withered feet. Amen. They're all waiting by the pool. Because they know every year God sends an angel. Once a year God sends an angel. Amen. The Bible said in verse 4, it said, For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool. Amen. And troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the trouble of the water amen, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Look at that. If that was you, that you were sick, you got cancer. If you were by the pool, amen, and then the angel troubled the water, and then you were the first one to go into the pool, you'll be healed. But that's only one. You have to be the first one. And there is a certain season when the angel will come. That's up to you. If you want to wait for the angel. But I want to tell you something. I'd rather wait for the Lord himself to come and do something. But there are people at every season waiting. Waiting for what? Waiting for the angel to trouble the water. Oh wow. They're waiting. They said, I know the angel's coming. I know the season the angel coming. Uh, but I've got to be first. It's not all the time you're going to be first. There's so many people waiting, so many people sick, so many people with bodily trouble, headache, amen, problems, amen. They can't have children, some of them. Praise the name of Some of them, amen, they can't walk. Some of them are blind, some of them are dead. No matter what kind of condition you have, Amen. If you got into that pool of water after the angel of trouble, then you're going to be healed. How do I know that? God sent the angel. And if God sent the angel, it's all right. But I want to say to you, you got to wait for the season. The scripture goes on to say, And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. Wow. That's a long time to be sick. Isn't it? Isn't that a long time to be sick? 30 and 8 years. Look, there's it in the scripture. It talks about a woman that has an issue of blood for 12 years. Amen. It talks about another woman. Amen. That had for 18 years that she was doubled up. But this man, for 38 years, he had an infirmity. A sick man. Look, uh, 18 years is a lifetime. Well, how about 38 years then? My God, that's, that's serious. But this man, the Bible says, amen, uh, and a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years. But the scripture says, when Jesus saw him lie, 
and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? For 38 years, this man was waiting for the angel to come into the water to trouble it. Are you still waiting for somebody else to bless you? Are you waiting for your friends? Waiting for your family? Waiting for your boss? Waiting for a broken marriage? Waiting for a brother? Waiting for a husband or wife to bless you? Are you still waiting for that doctor that said they're going to do the operation and it's still not working? Well, this man, he was waiting on the angel. Waiting for that season to come. But now, who comes? Jesus Christ comes. He said, what's going on? He said, I know it's a long time you've been in this case. He said, will thou be made whole? Or do you want to be healed? There's some people, they say they want to be healed, but they don't do, you look at their condition. There's some people, a big like this, I'm talking about overweight. And they said they, said they, they, want, they want to get slim. But they're eating 10 meals a day. It don't look that way. There's some of you that have conditions in your life that's causing you to have diabetes. And you're still eating that type of food. Amen. That will cause you for your diabetes to get bad. This man, for 38 years, he had a problem of an infirmity. And when Jesus met him in his condition, he said, Will thou be made whole? He asked him a question. For 38 years he's been sick, but God still asked him, Will thou be made whole? Do you want to be healed? Do you want to be healed? Do you want, amen, for God to take away your condition? Do you want, hey, praise the name of the Lord, you've been going to that doctor for fertility uh, uh, issues that you have. And each time you're paying all this money so that you can have a child. And every month it doesn't work. And you've been doing this for years. Uh, each month you're waiting. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. But you're still spending your money. Uh, but how about waiting on God? How about doing that? Because there have been examples in the Bible. Whether it's Sarah and Abraham. Huh? Whether it's Elizabeth and Zachariah, when they waited for a long time to have a child, they didn't go to no doctor. They waited for Dr. Jesus or God all by himself to do something. But people don't want to wait on God. They want to find some. He said, will thou be made whole? The Bible said in verse 7, the impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the into the pool but while i'm coming another step down before me so because of his condition he couldn't move fast enough so the angel will come into the water or into the pool and trouble the water and then he's trying to move into the pool and what happened somebody gets there first oh my god for 38 years he was trying to get into that pool of water after the angel of trouble but he couldn't get in there somebody will get into the water before him he's explaining this to Jesus Christ that I've tried to be healed I've tried to get deliverance but every time my turn comes somebody gets in front of me what I want to say to you it wasn't your turn it's time for you to wait and wait on Jesus Christ. He was waiting for the moving of the water. But God gives an example of this man waiting. He didn't go anywhere else. For 38 years, he could have went down to the local juju man. Amen. But he waited on God. He knew that the angel came from God. But he rather wait. For his turn to come. Every time he tried to get into that water, somebody got in there before him. The scripture said, Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. Oh God. Now, he's, remember, 
is infirm. He has infirmity. And Jesus gives him a direct order. You better listen to God. Some of you don't want to listen to God. I want to say, and I'm saying it to you today, wherever you are. You might be in your bed. I said, take up your bed and walk. Rise. Take up your thy bed and walk. What are you doing? Get up out of your bed. Come on. Get up out of the hospital bed. Get up, up from the bed in your house. Get up from your sicknesses right now. Get up. The scripture said, and immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked and on the same day was the sabbath god's day oh god god's time to have fellowship that's the time god decided he's going to heal this man praise him god can heal you today not tomorrow you just have to have faith just like this man he waited a long time but when he met the savior have you met god have you met jesus christ well when he met the savior that was it Amen. The Bible said the Jews therefore said unto him that was cured. It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, he that made me whole. The same said unto me, take up thy bed and walk. You see, God's doing some miracle. There's always somebody who's going to be upset. The scripture then asked they him, what man is that which said unto thee, take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed was not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, amen, it, a, a multitude being in that place. But listen to verse 14. After would Jesus find of him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. Some of us are in a sick condition because of our sins. Oh yes, we're in that condition. He said, he said to this man, sin no more or worse thing come upon you. He was healed after 38 years of waiting. Huh? Waiting for the moving of the water. God came himself and healed this man. Well, how about you today? Is there somebody that wants to be healed? Is there someone that wants to be delivered? Is there someone that wants God to do something? The scripture said in Matthew chapter 12, verse 42, yeah, Jesus talked to the man that said that if you, if you, he says, sin no more or a worse thing come upon you. In Matthew chapter 12 and verse 42, it said, the queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment of this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. He said, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and find of none. Then he said, I will return into my house from thence I come I came out and when he's come he found of it what empty swept and garnished verse 45 it said then go of thee and take up with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter in and dwell there and the last state of that man is worse than the first even so shall it be also in unto this wicked generation you see this man who Jesus Christ healed he told him to sin no more or worse thing come upon you and what happened the bible said it could be seven times worse than you were before if there's someone today after hearing the healing of jesus christ the man was just waiting for the moving of the water and he waited patiently for 38 years amen he couldn't get in the water but jesus comes have you been waiting a long time for your deliverance have you waiting for God to do something for you? Well, it's about time you believe God today and have faith. Amen. I don't know if there's someone today. Amen. That want God to do something in their life. I'm going to go to Acts chapter 2, verse 36 to 38. Amen. Maybe you haven't given your life to the Lord. Amen. Maybe you don't really know about the New Testament birth. Amen. To be born again of the water and of the spirit. But I want to say to you today, Amen. The moving, waiting for the moving of water. If you've been waiting for a long time for the healing from God, I want to say God can do it right now. I'm going to pray for you today, but I just want to read from Acts 2, 36 to 38. It says, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom you have crucified, both 
Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? And there's the answer. Everybody wants to be saved. Amen. But you need to be saved the right way. You need to follow the scriptures, what God has given. It says in verse 38, when Peter said unto them, repent. That means to have a change of heart, a change of mind. Turn away from sin. It also means to be sorry for your sin. Or God is sorry for sin. Praise the name. Praise the name of the Lord. And be baptized, every one of you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Not some of you, but every one of you. Eh? Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Not Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Not by his title, but in his name. It says, amen, baptize every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. And he give you a reason. It says, for the remission of sin. That means for the removal or the stopping of your sins. Amen. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the evidence or sign that you have the Holy Ghost, you will speak in other tongues and the Spirit give you utterance. Amen. I don't know about you. Maybe you didn't, you didn't expect to be listened to a preaching uh, at this mid midday hour amen but god has an appointed time to heal you and to heal you immediately have you been waiting you we've had covid cause people to have to be waiting for their operations amen but i'm saying if you have faith the bible says if you have faith as small as the mustard seed you can say to the mountain be ye removed you can say today and hey, sickness go amen i want deliverance i want it now god is right here at this place if you want to be healed I'm going to pray but I do want to say if those one if you're on whatsapp and you want to send a prayer request you can send it to 0044 no matter where you are whatsapp amen bishop Michael Maddox you can get me on 44 and I will pray for you. I pray for your, your prayer request at this time. I'm going to pray, amen, that God will heal you. And um, those ones that wherever the pain is, I want you to get your hand and put your hand on the pain. Uh, if your leg's not working, put your, your hands on your leg, amen. If you've got a headache, put your hand on your head, amen. If you've got problems, amen, with your hearing, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You can't hear too good, amen. Let someone tell you where to put your hand where the pain is. Amen, in the name of Jesus Christ. But wherever you are, if you can't move, just have your mind on God healing you because God is a healer. Amen. Just like the man waiting for 38 years. Amen. Each time is up. Is it your time today? I'm going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, Lord God, I want to thank you and glorify your name. Oh God, for all things. Lord God, you are a healer and a healer of the world. And you are the light of this world. Lord God, I bind every spirit of sickness. Amen. That's in the body of the man and woman and children in the name of Jesus Christ. And I can't say every spirit of sickness out of the body. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose. Oh God, your, your people there. Loose your children. Lose the man and the woman, Lord God. Heal them, oh God, I pray today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Immediately. Lord God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, immediately, oh God, praise the name of the Lord, amen. Someone, if you want to phone in, you can phone in, amen, at this time, amen. I can take some calls for five minutes, amen, in the name of Jesus Christ, praise the Lord, and let the Lord take over, amen. Let the Lord take over, amen, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord take over, and let the Lord bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to thank God, amen. One moment, I want to thank God for... All things. Thank God for all things. If you want to, you can phone in on zero two four three one three seven seven five three. You can phone into the studio right now on zero two four three one three seven seven five three, and I can pray for you directly. I've got five minutes to take calls. Amen. If there's someone sick, Amen. You're in your bed at this time and you're struggling and you want God to do something how about trust your faith today you can phone in 02 431 377 
Okay, speak a bit louder, please. Hello. Okay, speak now, please. Uh, this is the Bishop Michael Mellitz. So you can speak now, and I can hear. Tell me what your, your name is and what your prayer request is in the name of Jesus Christ. Hello. Okay. Make it your your phoning up for prayer. Fine. And we can do that. All I'm asking you to tell us what you want God to heal you with, and I will pray. Hello. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I want to glorify your name at this time. Lord God, this man, this brother, he has phoned by faith, oh God, believing, oh God, that you can heal him. Lord God, heal him right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless him right now, oh God, I pray. And heal him immediately, just like you healed that man after 38 years in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Thank Lord. You. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. You can, if you want, you can you can always call me on WhatsApp zero zero four four seven seven one eight one four four one six three. I can probably take one more call. One more call on zero two four three one three seven seven five three. One more call on zero two four three one three seven seven five three. Amen. I'll give you one moment before I close in prayer. But I just want to say to you today, for those ones, amen, who don't feel you can phone in for whatever reason, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is a savior, is your savior. He's the savior of the world. And he's told me to tell you that he loves you and he cares about you. If you've been suffering for so long, just like this man for 38 years, God said he's going to heal you and he's going to deliver you. If you've been applying for a job for so long, and every time you've been rejected, amen, I want to tell you now, it's going to change now. All you've got to do is just believe God today, and God will do the work. I'm going to finish with prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, all those ones that want to phone in and send the messages, oh God, whether through WhatsApp or even from the radio station. I pray a prayer of faith, oh God, today that you will bless them and keep them. Lord God, you know their condition, Lord God. And I pray, oh God, that you will deliver them and heal them. And those ones seeking help and support, oh God, for their families. Bless them, even for their relationship with their husband and wives. I pray today that in the name of Jesus Christ that you will bless them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen.